This is incredible. The response to Kevin McCarthy being ousted as Speaker of the House is causing all these realizations on the part of people who normally would do everything to prevent realizing, especially on national television, the things that they're admitting to now. We looked previously at numerous Republicans responding to this, saying things to the effect of Republicans just can't govern. Gosh, Democrats are the disciplined ones. They can actually figure out how to effectively govern, even if you disagree with their particular policy uh, proposals. It's so hilarious. And this time it's Brian Kilmeade saying, Matt Gates doing this and just the chaos that we're watching. This is the best case for why voters should vote for Hakeem Jeffries to have the gavel, vote for Democrats to get the majority. And I wrote on uh, X, make sure to follow me, Luke P. Beasley, even Brian Kilmeade publicly admits the Democrats have a stronger case to make than the GOP clown show. Take a look at this. It'll first be Steve Ducey, then Brian Kilmeade. Here's what, here's what the Wall Street Journal writes on their op-ed. The, the lead op-ed is uh, Demo uh, Republicans cut off their heads regarding, and these are the uh, Republicans who voted. Uh, Andy Biggs is one of them. The Wall Street Journal writes, Mr. Biggs argued on the floor that the House hadn't passed the 12 annual spending bills on time, but that's because of demands from members like him. He and Mr. Gates offered mainly a list of grievances and supposedly failed promises that had no chance of being realized as Congress. The real motive looks to be spite, personal, and political, and the result is to sow chaos in their own ranks. And to that, they certainly did, because now the House that uh, has a slim Republican majority looks like they can't govern. They have a strong case when you go to these uh, swing districts and say, look, at, you, you, gave, you saw the chaos in the House, you got to put a Democrat in charge, give Hakeem Jeffries the gavel. Here <laughs> so true, Brian. They do have a strong case. Now, the thing that's funny is they're realizing this in this particular moment, not acknowledging, number one, this is what people have been warning of for some time. This Trumpism, this MAGA, this everything's about political stunts, everything's about obstruction when it comes to the other party, um, cooperation. This is not going to lead anywhere good. And it was rooted on by the people on Fox News, such as Brian Kilmeade and the other individuals we've looked at, Newt Gingrich on today's show. Um, but now it's such an embarrassment. It's so chaotic that even they're sick of it. And watching the way that this has caused interviews such as this one, where Brian Kilmeade, for the first time in his life, it seems, is actually challenging a Republican during an interview as you're supposed to. Now, imagine if he could conduct this interview with election deniers about their lies about the election, or Trump about the countless different things he says on their network that's not true. No, but when Trump, or at least when they used to have him on a lot, he would just talk and they would just stare blankly at the camera. But because I really don't know why this is the red line for so many people we've looked at on today's show, but it is, um, then they can really challenge someone like Tim Burchett who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy. What do you think is going to do for the Republican Party and chances of holding on to leadership and the majority when it looks like you're, having, you're the uh, ringleader of a circus led by Matt Gates, who likes to blow things up but not offer any new ideas? Are you happy following Matt Gates? Is that your leader? I'm not following Matt Gates. I made my own decision. I didn't ask Matt. But if Matt for Gates approval, didn't challenge, you wouldn't going to challenge. Do what? If Matt Gates didn't stand up, you were going to challenge. You know I that. Believe I, I believe I would have. Oh, come I on. I, and they're, and they're, oh, well, please, you, you know, were praying please, about please. it one minute. The next minute you're going to lead an insurgency? And so you don't think that praying about it's important? Is that what you're saying? One, one minute that's, you know, you're praying you're about how you're going to vote with Matt Gates. And the next minute you're going to lead an insurgency? Listen, you got a predetermined answer to everything. I, I no, I have, an, I have an opinion about what's going on. Do you have and an opinion, too? And you talk over me every time I try to make All a right, point. All right, make your point. The point is, is that we're $33 trillion in debt. This speaker was woefully, woefully lacking in leadership skills. He always placed the blame somewhere else. America is going to be better off with new leadership. And right. That's the bottom and who line. is it? Yeah, it possibly could be Steve Scalise. It could be. A okay. Again, imagine if the lies of Trump could be challenged like that from Brian Kilmeade. Or they could bring on these Republicans to say, why is it that you're not aggressively trying to prevent 
your party from succumbing to a completely authoritarian ideology that seems to be what the voters are lining up behind in the uh, form of Donald Trump. Him saying he is supportive of, or in times gone by, his former top general would be executed or calling for the termination of the constitution or trying to overthrow our lawful process. Or why don't you challenge people, I guess it would be himself he would challenge because he says this, that perpetuate nonsense about Trump being politically persecuted. Or why don't you challenge people as to why they still su uh, support someone who openly called for targeting lamestream media, investigating if he became president again and uh, going after media outlets he doesn't like. But no, it's this. For some reason, this, maybe because of the embarrassment of it, or because it's a small enough group within the party, or something, this is where Brian Kilmeade draw, uh, draws the line and becomes temporarily an actual strong interviewer. Very, very strange. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show and get a bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.